Here's one way for us humans to visualize what fish are seeing. This shot is based on the optics of real fish eyes. For example, we know many fish see in color. They also have spherical lenses, giving them a wider field of view, and their eyes are pointed laterally. So for this shot, we had two cameras pointed 180 degrees apart. We can never truly know what it's like to be a fish, but we can make some very informed inferences by just looking at the geometry of their eyes. But before diving into how fish see, we need to break down how humans see for comparison. Humans use something called binocular vision, while fish use lateral vision. And those are completely different ways of perceiving reality, let me tell you. <laughs> Humans use binocular vision. This is when you have both eyes pointed forward and fixated on a target. Take a look around you right now. You're always looking at some particular thing. This is largely due to an area of highly concentrated cone cells called the fovea. The fovea corresponds to the center of our visual field and it's where we see the most detail. One way to see that is, I'm gonna move this word across. If you keep looking at this target, like keep looking right here, you'll notice that you cannot read text that's even slightly off-center. It turns out that fixing your eyes on a target is a large part of how we perceive depth. Depth perception, or stereopsis, works because when you focus on an object, everything in front of and behind it goes into double vision, and our brain uses that information as a signal of depth. Put your hands like this and look at this one, this one becomes double and also the wall behind is double. Almost all predators do this. It helps them to see far out into the distance so they can stalk and hone in on something. In contrast, most fish and prey animals have their eyes pointed laterally, so they're not coordinating both eyes onto one target. This puts them at a disadvantage when it comes to depth perception, but the trade-off is they have a much wider field of view and that helps detect incoming predators. Lots of rodents, they have lateral vision because they're obviously, well, then let's just say they're not at the top of the food chain, so rodents also have lateral vision. This one study hooked two mini GoPros to a rat's head and found its eyes were moving independently most of the time. It was seeing two images that were offset by as much as 40 degrees. In its brain, it probably has some way of making sense of all this, probably feels totally normal. The chameleon is an interesting hybrid case because it can actually switch from lateral mode to binocular mode when it's being a predator. It's like engage laser focus mode. Now it needs that depth perception to be able to judge where to shoot. Now let's look closer at the optics of the fish eye itself. A fish lens is basically compensating for being underwater. Fish lenses are more spherical and they have a higher refractive index than terrestrial lenses like ours. Both these features cause incoming light rays to bend more sharply. One reason for this design is simply that lenses behave differently in water than in air. An underwater lens doesn't bend light as much. Light will actually pass straight through the cornea without refracting, so the lens has to do all the work of bending that light. These lenses also allow fishes wider fields of view. Their round shape and the fact they can poke through the iris means that real fish eyes act like fish eye lenses. Fish eye lenses work by taking in light from a super wide angle, and redirecting it down onto the camera's sensor. This requires highly curved lenses. Basically, the more curved a lens, the wider field of view you can get. Fish lenses are totally spherical, so it's plausible they are seeing a much wider view of the world. It starts to paint a picture where fish are seeing this 360 degree panoramic view of the world around them. And I would guess that their brain does some trickery to stitch this together so it feels like one unified image. It's probably quite beautiful, honestly. 